Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Harzad, and here I am going to teach you how to detach the surfaces of the one geometry so you can use it in the snap hex mesh uh, in the open form for meshing the uh, the desired domain. As you know, the snap hex mesh tool is a very is a very strong tool to generate structured mesh, uh, but it needs a file that uh, it has detached surfaces. The other name of the detached surfaces is the exploded surfaces in different uh, in different softwares. The names is a little bit different, but uh, in the ANSYS space claim, uh, the name is uh, the name is uh, detached surfaces. But in other software, I have seen that. It, they, they use the exploded surfaces, so it is this, it has the same meaning. First, uh, we need to import the geometry, uh, and as you know, I start the geometry here. Then we should open the, uh, the open the geometry in ANSYS claim, uh, space claim. So uh, we wait until the space claim launches, and then I will explain the remaining things later. Let's wait. Okay. Here, as you see here, we have the uh, the space claim which it is loaded. So we are going. To, we should uh, generate our geometry beforehand in CATIA or in SolidWorks or whatever you want. Then after doing that, uh, we need to make the file as a STF file so we can open it in the space claim. As you see here, I go to my uh, files and here, uh, here, I'm choosing the STEF file, which it is this one. I open the, my desired geometry. And as you see here, this is my geometry. First of all, uh, when we are doing the these kind of geometries, sometimes we want to uh, split the surface since we need it. For example, in this case, uh, we need to inject some uh, particles from some special surfaces uh, exactly from here. As you see, it is one single surface, but we need to split it. So I am going to just teach you how to split these surfaces. Then after that, how to detach the how to detach the old geometry and save it as a one STL file so we can use it in Snappy Hex Mesh. Here uh, we should go to the uh, split. Here in the split, we should select this one. The name is uh, select two cutter point. Then uh, we need to select a surface like this one. Then in the, that surface, we should choose two different points like this one and this one so as you see the surface is split here so i am going to just uh, repeat the, the same procedure for all eight these uh, surfaces one by one it is very quick one and i think i can do it all in just one minute uh, so it is not that much time consuming just we should be a little bit careful about the two points as you see it is split um, I said this procedure is not needed for the splitting the uh, the splitting the detaching all surfaces, but uh, since it is one of the the important steps, I am going to to get you know, to teach this one, so you can use it in the future if you have the geometry and you need to have different surfaces for different purposes. So here, as you see here, here and here, okay, 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 just the three of them remain, so I will do it one by one, uh, one by one, yeah, okay, uh, this one. Again, we selected the same surface. 
ומחודשת. Okay, there's a mistake, so I control Z. I choose it again. Uh, okay, I did not choose the point properly, so it did not split it. Okay, this time is correct. The other one is this one. Okay, and this one, and, and the other point. Is this one? Okay, this is the final one. So, as you see here in the y direction, we, we see it from the top, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight different surfaces. So right now uh, we can do what we want here. Uh, so we go here to this tree, and here, here it has detach all. We detach everything. As you see here, now it is detached to the surfaces. As you see here. But uh, since the, all the names are the same thing, so in some cases we need to rename them. It's here, uh, for example, the, the, we don't need the, all of the case to be renamed. Uh, it is needed to rename for the open form purposes, but we need to, especially here, uh, we need to find out the, what uh, surfaces we need to rename so we can remember the names. For example, this one, you see this is in X direction. So I am going to rename it here as, as the name. Inject X. The other one, as you see here, I okay. Let's say okay. I choose it this one, and here it is. I rename it as inject. It is an X direction and Z direction also. So I put this name. So again. Uh, this one, uh, if you see here, I rename it uh, inject Z here. The name of this one must be changed also. Uh, it is inject, it is negative X and Z. Okay, just four of them remain. This one is inject nx. This one, the name inject nx. This one is this one, the name inject negative z and negative x, negative x and negative z. So this one other one uh, as this one rename inject minus c negative z and this one also must be renamed as inject it is in the positive x direction and negative z direction so the, i think this is the last one let's see okay this is already renamed so yeah we have eight different names the name under the name of the inject different directions so we have all these ones just we need to save it as a one single stl file so we save as here in the space claim, uh, we just go to the name of the STL file and uh, name it uh, just renamed. Okay, so I just save it like this. Okay, it is saved. 
Yes, I am going to open the file to be sure that if it is everything is correct there. If you see here, uh, I have this file, one STL file. I just open it in Windows so you can see it. It is in the Windows. Uh, I opened it print 3D. It is the same thing. So everything is renamed, the injectors. So the last thing, uh, if you come here inside and open it with the this edit, uh, you can see that here uh, we have different names like the this one and this one. This is repeated. If we, for example, uh, this is the old names of the other surfaces. If we just search for this, uh, find all in the document, in current document, you see that uh, we have this name repeated many times. Uh, we have to count it how many times. So I just uh, rename this one. Since all of them are related to just one uh, single one, so I name it just XTA wall. So I just replace all. This one is easy one. So all of them is changed to XTA wall as you see here. So just the first file, this one also must be changed. Okay, I had a mistake. Uh, the XTA wall, uh, Control F, replace. I just want to have this one, so it, again, it must be replaced all. Yeah, there was one bracket extra. Okay, this one, this name, the first uh, surface is different a little bit, the name. So we have to change it with this one manually. So everything is cha changed. So I'm going to just show you the injects also. We have eight different injects. Inject section, uh, as you see, I search, as you see, one, two, three, four, five six seven eight so we just save this one uh as the as the other name just uh again angle three changed this one so yeah uh, uh we can we can use this one as in the for our purposes in the snappy hex mesh stick so we can yeah easily use that one without any problem uh, just we have to be sure the boundary conditions is the same as the names here if this change you can change it manually and it's very easy to do it's the easiest way you can detach a surface and rename it uh, it's very handy in the the space claims so i wish you like this tutorial and you can use it for the snap hex mesh uh, purpose you can detach and use it in the future uh, in the future yeah thank you very much for watching yeah have a good day bye